verse with Ross, but nobody yeah, knows yeah. nothing. It's wasted. I'm going to give you two examples of that. One is a guy named Blood Raw. Some of y'all might have heard of Blood Raw, right? I knew Blood Raw before he signed with Jeezy. Blood Raw had a record with Pastor Troy. I took it to Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers said, I don't want the record because Pastor Troy sounds better to me than Blood Raw on the record. I mean, that's an opinion you're dealing with. So when you put a Ross on a record, you don't, a record company hears the record that nine out of 10 times they're gonna say, well, the only reason why this record is selling is because Ross is on it. Now you, you killed yourself. You're still not gonna get a deal. Then you just spent $40,000 with Ross and you still ain't getting a deal. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're gonna spend the money the first and most important thing is to establish you as the artist because you are the one that we're investing in. Then you can add to that by doing a record and doing a feature because I've already believed in you. I'm already willing to spend money with you. Another example is Swiss Beats' wife, ex-wife Mashonda. This is before they divorced. She did a record, put the game on the record. They paid the game like $100,000. Ridiculous. You know, it went to Interscope. Jimmy's like, no, you can't use the record. Another example is Magic Stick. Reese. <laughs> you know, Magic Stick, Lil' Kim did the record. She couldn't use the record because Jimmy Iovine wouldn't sign off on it. So all the money she paid 50 for the record doesn't matter. If Universal or Interscope says you can't use it, you can't use it. <laughs> now, I, have, I have more of a fo formulated answer to that. Um, and this is kind of how what I tell most people. Um, first thing you need to do is, and this shouldn't cost you a lot of money, but spend whatever you have. You need to get some studio time, some equipment to build your own studio, whatever, and create what either you think is an incredible mixtape or that single. Okay. Now, if it's just if it's just about a mixtape, then you just pick the coolest record off that, shoot a video. If it's about the single, obviously you shoot a video for that. Now, if you still have money after that, you should because it's not a lot to spend. It's not a lot to. Um, it's not a lot to uh, to shoot video or to make a mixtape. Then you start viral marketing. You make sure the video is everywhere, and you make sure the mixtape is everywhere. Okay, that should lead to some shows. Then free shows. So then, if you still got money after that, make some merch and make it creative. Don't just have a triple XL with your name on it or what you know. And it got, like, be creative. Look at some of the merch that these people are creating. Think streetwear. Like research your streetwear companies. Um, now, if you still got money after that, again, because I don't know how much we're dealing with, and you really feel like you have that single, then take it to radio. But I wouldn't spend a dime on radio before you go through the channels that I just explained. Absolutely. Absolutely. Radio is very expensive. <laughs> you know what it costs? <laughs> do you know, hey, listen, do you know what it costs to go to a radio? Let's say Al Lindstrom. Now, Al Lindstrom was this white kid who was probably one of the most used independent radio promoters. And I guarantee you, even with me being good friends with the guy, and I take you to him, he's gonna want at least $25,000, $35,000. And that's only gonna get you, what, 150, 200 spins a week? That, that, and yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 and when you go to those labels, and you see those spins, unless it's, unless it's researching like crazy, like a Neil Levine, or someone like that is gonna look at the BDS like that's paid for. That's, that's paid, paid for. for. Exactly. That's paid for. That's paid for. Because what happens is these guys will make their numbers, but they'll make their your numbers by getting you spins at, at like two in the morning and three in the morning, and your audience is like that. Right. And they tell you is oh I, you got to get to mix show first, and then it's got to translate and work its way up from mix show into some type of rotation. But they're gonna charge you for that. Now the guy says, well if you want if I, you want rotation. I'm gonna charge you another twenty thousand dollars on top of the third twenty-five or thirty-five I just gave you, so it's very expensive. I mean, Matt Miller has no radio play. Justin Bieber does not do well on radio. Not at all. Think about that. He's never had a radio hit. You know, there's other avenues nowadays. All right. So um, now we're gonna go on to some audience questions.